What's up, y'all? This is Antoine, a.k.a. The Big Fella. Got Eric back there. My brother-in-law, Pokey, right there. Out here doing some fishing at George Washington Birthplace. Um, they're using live bait. I'm going to be the crazy one to use uh, artificial bait. They got the uh, Menace Alive swim jig. Uh, we left the spot at the Rappahannock not too long ago. I hung like a nice three-pound bass. They can vouch for me because I did not get it on video. I was um, uploading the video from the old neighborhood uh, while I was fishing and hung that bad boy. But um, hopefully I'll be able to hang one out here. I mean, there's plenty of grass. There's a lay down right there that I'm going to hit. And uh, there's some other stuff around the corner I'm going to hit too. So let me go ahead and get fishing. Got the uh, mini cam right here. And I'm uh, about to get it in. Now this little creek here feeds off of the Potomac River, which is that way. If you can see the little... A uh, hole right there. That's the Potomac River out there. But um, I've heard people catch bass out of here from time to time, so I figured it'd be my turn. The tide is way up. Well, not way up, but it's up. Damn! I left my cigars in the truck. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Or a cigar. I think I had one left. Especially now since bugs are like flying all in my face. Yeah, I've heard of catfish hitting moving bait, like spinner baits and uh, like this jig I got. Mm -hmm. Heard them chasing it down. I was like, man, might luck up. I would too. <laughs> oh, hold it! Why? Yeah, that's gonna be hard. So, I uh, almost had a couple of fish down there. Uh, they shook off before I can get them in to even see what they were. But um, there's a pond on the way back into the picnic ground here. And I'm actually trying to fish there. There's some lily pads in there. So, I think there might be bass in there. But uh, it's always worth a shot, I guess. So, let me get up there and uh, see if we can find a fish or two in there. All right, you guys. Here we are at the pond that I was talking about. It's uh, Part of it's over here. And... Uh, part of it's over there so I'll probably hit both sides there's a fence on that side though so I don't know about hitting over there but um, I can see some activity here already so let me go ahead and get a pole in the water all right y'all I got a lot of movement down here I'm not sure exactly what it is but we'll try to find out here I guess This water looks a bit dark to me, almost black in color. I don't know. Let me walk over here across the street. If I don't catch anything over here, I'm going to uh, pull out the buzz bait. This is a perfect little area to be on top.
All right, you guys, I am not getting anything off of the the jig. So I'm going to go ahead and try this buzz bait here. There's a lot of uh, loose like limbs and stuff that's on the bottom. That's great to bump off of, but I keep pulling in the leaves and stuff with it. I honestly don't think it's very deep all the way through here. Alright you guys, I fished this pond for about 45 minutes or so and um, didn't get a single nibble. I fished on the other side as well, nothing over there. Um, I worked a swim jig and a buzz bait and nothing swiped at it or anything. I don't know if there's fish in here or not. I mean, I saw a small bait fish, you know, like hitting stuff over the surface like little bugs. But nothing really big or no swirls or anything. So, um, it might be a good place to come with the kids to catch a bluegill or something like that. But I don't think there are any bass in here. And if they are, they're really sluggish or just didn't feel like eating today. But I'm going to go meet up with Eric and see what they're doing and uh, try to figure out something for dinner, I guess. So, the two jobs that I had for work today, knocked those out. It's like 12.45. And um, I'm down here near Sandy River Reservoir. And I think I might stop there and fish for a little while. I don't really have any luck there. Um, it's just a huge lake. And um, where the dock is, it's just often a little cut. And I don't think many fish come back there. So I may, you know, spend maybe half an hour there. If I don't catch anything, I'm going to go a little bit closer to home and try to fish that one pond that um, I don't know if uh, you're allowed to fish it or not, but I'm going to try it out today. It's um, 80 degrees and there's um, somewhat of an overcast. So I'll uh, be throwing uh, spinner baits and that swim jig probably. I don't know yet. We'll see. But um, let me get there and figure all that out. Well, so much for going to Sandy River Reservoir. On to the next spot. I know you couldn't really see it all that well, but there were a lot of people out there on that pier fishing, and there were some kids out there running around as well. So I didn't want to, you know, be in the midst of that and trying to record a video for you guys at the same time. I really had no idea that many people would be off on a Tuesday and be out here fishing. But um, I'm going to go to that pond that I'm not sure if I'm allowed to fish or not that's closer to home behind the cemetery and uh, try my hand at fishing over there. All right, y'all, I'm here, as you can see. Well, let me go ahead and get the gear strapped on and go ahead and start fishing. Hopefully, I'll catch something here today because it'll be my first time catching something here. All right, you guys, I'm walking down here to the water now. <clears throat> I don't see, I, I'm really curious, because I would love to put my boat in here, because this, uh, looking at it on the map, it's really big, but um, it'd be strange if I got kicked out, because there are no trespassing signs, there are no, no trespassing signs around, and um, it's, uh, as you can see, there's a cemetery right there, so, not necessarily private property, I wouldn't think. But, uh, people are funny. But let me go ahead and start fishing here. I'm going to start off with the uh, swim jig here. Blue your color. Alright, you guys. I'm having some uh, equipment issues. My camera's not charging with the uh, cord that I have. And also, uh, the tail came off on my swim jig. So, i um, probably going to go to the truck and uh, switch out. But I might use the buzz bait first. But, um, if I catch something, I'll show it to you guys on here. Unfortunately, you probably won't be able to see the action because the camera's just not charging. I'm going to take it to the truck and see if I can uh, find another charger cord or something like that. But um, I guess that's how it goes some days. I may have to go to the store and get another uh, camera charger if I don't catch anything here. And I go to another spot, that is. Alright, you guys. I didn't have any luck over here. And I actually slowed down a little bit. 
and uh, try to find any like signs of life. I didn't see turtles or bait fish or anything over here. So I may try over in that shady spot and see if uh, I can uh, find anything over there and um, figure out what's going on with this camera because I really want to record. All right, y'all, I'm over here um, at this spot. Um, that's not part of the cemetery. Sorry, I got bit by a mayfly in the back of my head. Kind of hurt a little bit, but um, I tied on another bluegill swim jig, and I'm going to fish over here for a little while. But I'm going to go ahead and get everything out. I think I got the camera working again. I just had to pull out the SD card and put it back in with the battery as well. And um, it seems like it's staying on, but we'll see how that goes. All right, you guys. Uh, I think the camera's back with the program. I just uh, did a uh, a test run with a two a little two minute video, which is normally how long I record my little clips for, and uh, it seems like it uh, did fine. So, uh, kind of glad we're back with the program now. I just need to catch a fish and stop getting bit by bugs. <laughs> seems like there are uh, bugs are on a rampage over there on this side of the lake. Almost knocked my Bluetooth out of my ear trying to get one to get off me. And see, I would fish this road, but you guys see how fast this truck is coming through here? I would love to work that whole edge of the road there, but uh, I'm not trying to get hit. That road's pretty narrow. guys i want to go pick up this bait caster and uh realize i've been stepping in goose poop this whole time that's no bueno but um i just saw like a fish the size of a crappy jump over here by the road i really want to go fish that road but i'm scared to get hit by traffic but um i'm gonna try to fish here for a little while longer i guess i might brave it and go out there near the road who knows I'm gonna try this. I wanted to throw it a little bit further than that, but I have to practice that. I think I just heard thunder. I either heard thunder or I'm so used to it always raining and thunderstorming that uh, that's all I hear nowadays, especially when I'm fishing because um, you know I always want to fish, but it seems to just like nonstop rain every once in a while. I'm actually going to go out here and try out um, try fishing out here on the road. I'm going to go ahead and brave it out. I keep seeing stuff jump over here. Wow, look at the feather. Look at this feather here. That's huge. Goose feather. Gotta watch out for goose poop. Yeah, you see how close the road is to the guardrail here? And see how narrow it is? I probably could lay both both of the fishing rods down. And uh, it'll span the, this whole roadway. Oh, darn. You see that jump right there? I think I'm going to go buzz bait. Come on, buzz bait. Come on. There we go. That was a good buzz bait cast there. I 
Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Can actually work this way too now. Work this corner. I'm actually glad I decided to come over here. Oh, here comes a car. It's times like these when you're uh, quote unquote playing in the road where you need your friends to be like car so you can uh, move out of the way. Hey, I just saw a fish jump way over there. I'd need a boat to get there though. Oh man, where, where I was standing at. Um, you can kind of see straight in front of my rod where I was standing. Yeah, right on that. It's a little point over there. And the uh, fish just made a big swirl over there. I actually might be able to cast that far with this jig. Uh, kind of close. Kind of. All right. My luck, I'd catch a pickerel. At this point in time, I'd be willing to accept that. <laughs> I am under attack by bugs here. Here comes another car. Nice people, they all wave. Try straight in front of me. I'm going to walk down here a little more, a little ways. I see a, um, a stick or a, or a tree limb of some sort up in the water here. Figured I would work this whole roadway. Give it till about 4.30 so I can go home and participate in Taco Tuesday. Sorry guys, there was actually a little splash over here by this log. 
think this is as far as I'm going to go. I don't know what kind of flower leaves are, but flowers those are, but they're pretty nice. I'm going to try out this corner over here. See if I have any luck. Although I might be spending some of my time untangling this darn buzz bait because it just did a uh, coup de gras. Oh, well, not as long as I thought. But um, the hook wrapped around the um, rod like that and tangled line all over the place. The brush is kind of high right here. So if I do get a fish, I don't know how I'm going to get it up here, Timmy. You guys probably can't even see. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to fish here long. Because that was a little tough getting that out of there. Right here in front of this uh, lay down. Fish it back towards it. Fish just jumped not uh, by the uh, 20 mile an hour sign right there. Go get it. Yeah, right there. Well, I had no luck along the roadway here, but um, I guess I should be somewhat lucky because I didn't get hit by a car, but um, no fish. Get ready to go home and partake in Taco Tuesday and uh, um, maybe go fishing afterwards. I don't know yet. All right, you guys, I'm back home. Got changed clothes, getting ready for Taco Tuesday. It's uh, 6.45 and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to go back out to go fishing, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Um, these past two days like suck for fishing for me. I uh, fished out of a creek, fished out of a river. I caught one bass yesterday, but uh, of course I didn't get that on video. But um, fished out of the creek, some random pond, and uh, I also uh, fished out of um, that lake that I was at today and uh, was fishless. So um, it was kind of rough, but uh, it happens to the best of us. But um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Big Fella Outdoors. Be sure to tune in to the next episode where you can catch me outside doing what I love most, getting my dose of the great outdoors. Make sure you get y'all's too. Y'all have a good one.